It has been uh, interesting to see some of the comments by both McCarthy and Aaron Rodgers leading up to this game on Sunday. Let, let's play right now a little bit of what Mike McCarthy had to say about uh, going back to Green Bay. Green Bay wasn't just a place you coached. It's mm -hmm. very much you know where you lived. And Jessica, a special place for her, for your kids. What about the area do you and as a family, as a unit, miss? No, this is you guys trying to make me cry. <laughs> what is a individual? Why don't you ask me a question about 12 personnel or something? He's like, what the? What the? Hey, try. I'm good, yeah. What, as an individual, as a family, as a unit, what, what about Green Bay? Do you guys miss most? Would I miss most? Yeah. Oh. Shoot, um, tell them, I think it's like anything, the people. And um, that's why I think it's been such a great transition for our family, because our, our kids, um, you know, were obviously born there, raised there, but to come here in this experience, because I mean, I mean, a lifestyle in Dallas, Texas is incredible. I mean, this has been an incredible, incredible opportunity for us as a family. But, you know, uh, Jessica was born there, kids were born there. <laughs> So, people, Mr. People. That's that's the Mike McCarthy that uh, I've come to know right there. He doesn't doesn't lower the shield a whole lot, although he's certainly a lot looser this year in Dallas uh, with how they're winning. But uh, you know, the same thing when I interviewed him during his year away, and he was still living in Green Bay. Like his his feelings and how attached his family is to Green Bay uh, is is a big deal to him. And there was a lot said about the McCarthy Aaron Rodgers relationship particularly in the final couple of years he was there let's hear what uh, what Aaron Rodgers had to say yesterday as well we've always kind of been in touch uh, a little bit more I'd say the last year or so um, you know I think as time goes by the gratitude for that time as you look back on the journey your career is uh, you know goes up a little bit you appreciate the little things a little bit more uh, because really this game and life is about the journey and uh, I'll always be uh, be tied with him uh, because of the connection that we had and the years we spent together. Uh, obviously, my longest tenured coach, longest tenured play caller. Um, thankful for those years and thankful maybe a little bit more as uh, the, the years go by. There's a lot of relationships that after, I think it was 13 years, can just reach a certain point and maybe it's good to get a fresh start and, and move forward here. But that that's... That is genuine affection from Aaron Rodgers, who, if you remember, went on a radio show uh, a couple of weeks after Mike got fired and basically implored Packers fans when they see him around town because he was still living there to treat him well and to say thank you. All right. There were there was definitely a dynamic. And Aaron's always been somebody who, you know, he, he wants things to be a certain way. And he is very strong will. But they they had such a close bond when Aaron was a young man and learning about life here. This is not what it was portrayed to be. It just, it simply wasn't. And so if Mike McCarthy is trying to beat anyone, and I'm sure on some level, you don't want to lose to Aaron, yeah. but if he's trying to beat anyone, it's the Packers organization. It's the way that Mike was let go. It's being called into an office by Mark Murphy minutes after a loss and doing your press conference and being told we're moving on. He won a Super Bowl there. He took him to the playoffs practically every year. He was on the doorstep of multiple other Super Bowls. And if Aaron didn't have a, a hurt calf in Seattle, maybe a 16 nothing lead doesn't get away from him and they go back and they win another one. It's just not the Mike versus Aaron show. I guarantee you this, though. If Mike gets a win, if the Cowboys get a win on Sunday, he's going to feel pretty good about sticking it to certain people <laughs> oh, yeah. in the highest offices in Green Bay. No doubt. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.